What's up guys, another video today. So, I seen something a few days ago. I say a few, like two or three days ago. I wanted to make a video about what I saw it. Didn't really know much about it, so I decided like, ah, look into it a little bit and then make a video about it then. So, uh, a friend of mine actually shared the link on Facebook, is recently how I found this. But uh, it's Virginia Democrats pre-file SB64 could outlaw firearms training. Yeah, that's exactly what it sounds like. But I'll go ahead and read you read to you one of the uh, like the original article that was shared on my Facebook so I could see. Uh, yeah, so Virginia Democrats pre-file SB 64 could outlaw firearms training. It's it's not a long read, but it's it's a little lengthy, all right? So keep in mind I'm not the best at reading out loud, all right? Sweetness. All right, so Democrats are having a free-for-all in Virginia for or after their big win this fall. Another ridiculous bill has been pre-filed to be printed on January 8th of 2020, SB 64 outlaws firearm trainings and could impact other groups such as Karavmega, uh, Jiu Jitsu, Self Defense Training, uh, etc. etc. Uh, the bill is designed to prohibit paramilitary activity, uh, read that as citizens' militia, uh, but it is stands. It would do a lot more, and turning law-abiding Virginia residents into felons with a snap of handcuffs. So, uh, you do firearms training, jujitsu, self-defense training, you can be a felon. Just like that if this passes through. So, let's go ahead and get right into the article some more and read some more about it. It would also inhibit the, act, the ability of firearm companies to train others on the making of firearms. So if a company makes a video showing how to put a firearm together, they will be charged with a felony under SB 64? Question mark. Looks like it. So, SB 64 uh, pro prohibition of paramilitary activity states 1 18.2-433-2 uh, point to myself, I'm sorry on that. Uh, the Code of Virginia has amended and reenacted as follows. Paramilitary activity is prohibited penalty, which is interesting. Trending Democrats condemn fake ICE university that started under Obama. Thanks, Obama. Another good reason to say thanks, Obama. A person shall be, which is crossed out now, is guilty of unlawful paramilitary military activity punished as a class 5 felony if he teaches or demonstrates to any other person the use, application, or making of any firearm, explosive, or incendiary device or technique capable of causing injury or death to persons. Knowing or having reason to know or intending that such training will be employed for use in or in furtherance of a civil disorder. All right, and then now two uh, symbols with one or more persons for the purpose of training with, practicing with, or being instructed in the use of any firearm, explosive, and scenery device or technique capable of causing injury or death to persons intending to employ such training for use in or in further furtherance of a civil disorder or no, it goes on like three. Uh, assembles with one or more persons with uh, the intent of intimidating any person or a group of persons by drilling, parading, marching with any firearm, any explosive or any inc incendiary device, or any components or combination thereof. All right, so uh, no like pro-gun rallies, uh, no open carry walks, etc., etc. Is what that says right there. Uh, penalty two, the uh, or that the provisions of this act may result in a net increase in periods of imprisonment or comment uh, commitment. Okay, it's an interesting word I've never seen. Uh, percent to thirty dash nineteen point one point four in the Code of Virginia. The estimates the estimated amount of necessary appropriation cannot be determined for periods of imprisonment in state adult correction facilities. Therefore, Chapter 854 of the Acts of 
The acts of uh, assembly of 2019 requires the Virginia Criminal Sentencing Commission to assign a minimum uh, visual impact of fifty thousand dollars pursuant to 30-19.1.4 the code of Virginia is uh, the estimated amount of necessary app appropriation cannot be determined for periods of commitment to the custody of the Department of Juvenile Justice. All right, so pretty much says you can get fined to fifty thousand dollars. That is a chunk of change right there. That is what that is what more people will ever spend on a car. So keep in mind you'd be in debt forever. That's like almost a house. Uh, this bill attempts to enact the thought crimes. How is anyone supposed to determine? determine intent, the words knowing or having reason to know are chilling, according to News Punch. The bill would widely would be widely accepted without realizing the dangers of hidden the dangers hidden in the wording. Okay, huh? That's weird to look at I guess. While the bill could uh you'd use the uh sheesh. Why the bill could be used to target groups like Antifa, it could take significant amendments to do it. This is all occurring at the same time at at least 22 counties in Virginia have voted to become Second Amendment sanctuaries. The state appears to be brewing a fight. And then everything else from the deals is pretty much saying check out our Facebook, blah blah blah. So, pretty much what that is saying is we're going to make it illegal for you to practice your theory. Like everyday carry weapon or practice your like an AR-15 or something like that. Pretty much, they're trying to condemn your rights and trying to like lower the volume of what you can and cannot do. So, uh, I would definitely take that as a uh, as a I'm a threat to your rights and ability to do something. It's not so much as a free country anymore, like we all like to seem and hope it is. But SB 64 for Virginia. Yeah, the Virginia Democrats are losing their fucking mind. That's that's putting it lightly. But this right here just goes to show that if, say, Hillary wins in 2020, or a Democrat or a liberal wins 2020 election, then we are looking at more situations such as these. It's sad to say because I like I get out every week to shoot and stuff, and I have friends that like to go with me whenever they can. So I don't really have a whole lot else to say, but it's just... This is what the world's coming to, guys. So we need to really fight for these gun rights we have now and not to be taking them for granted. And another thing is red flag law. It's kind of going to be enabled in this. They didn't say it, but let's be real. That's, that's got to become part of it. So, but yep, Virginia is trying to do away with training militia, militias, or whatever they want to call them. Uh, but it could get rid of groups like such as Antifa and stuff, so that could be a plus. But they're also going to be targeting like 3% of groups and all that kind of stuff. So I just wanted to bring that up and I wanted to like talk about that a little bit. So more people are aware of it. But uh, I don't know. It's Let's just hope that gets shot down because that's not really constitutional at all. I mean, I've seen several things in this article that I thought were personally not quite fair at all. I mean, it's it even stated that martial arts, like for jujitsu and stuff like that, would be uh, prohibited, which means it could be a, it'd be illegal. It's self defense training, so so you go to Walmart all the time, you go to the mall, you go wherever you like to go, right, in downtown or some something such like that. So pretty much, you practicing good firearm skills and marksmanship and all that could be becoming illegal and become a crime, is what they're stating. And then videos say. Uh, a firearms company throws out a video online saying, hey, this is how you can assemble an AR-15 or an AK-47, an SKS, a pistol of sorts or whatever like that, etc., etc. And they could be fined and all that for, I think I said like $50,000 or whatever, with a Class 5 felony, which here in Missouri, I think that's like a Class E felony, I believe, something such as that. But still a felony, and you at that point would not have your gun rights. So... Democrats are just trying to push for it and push for it and push for it to uh, get the, the whole gun thing under control for what they think. But, yeah. So, guys, 
just wanted to make a video about that, talk about that, which totally infringes on our rights, so keep in mind, don't tread on me, and you can come and take it, but pack a fucking lunch. So, until next time guys, in the next video, toodles.